Hi, welcome back to Sharon for Vivid Days. I'm about to do my final coat of resin on this piece. So this is the one where I did the two 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 cho <laughs> two tutorials live. Woo! <laughs> um, where you got to see me how I do my acrylic paint underneath, and then how I come back and do my resin on top. And this is the concept of this is really really pretty but there's no depth or movement in here. So all I'm gonna do is concentrate just on this back half of you, leave the beach uh, and this foam here, but just concentrate on bringing some waves and movements in here. And hopefully I will have learned to just keep my resin quite far back because it will naturally spread. And I'm hoping that that will give you an even more feeling of depth as it's going to be uh, rushing into the beach front. So that's what we're gonna do. So. Uh, to help for people that's not work with resin much to reattach resin to resin you do need to give it something to grip to so you use sandpaper and just lightly sand the area and you're just going to create a surface where the resin will want to grip to it I just have to make sure I don't come too far down because I only really want the resin to get to this part here so just go over the edges slightly and just make sure you're happy and then I will wipe this off and make sure there's no dust left behind and we'll be good to go so I have prepared my area I sprayed air with water to hopefully remove excessive dust that's floating around I've made sure that my workstation is dust free and I will put on my mask and my gloves when I am ready to start applying the resin and I am going to be working with my Bebo um, acrylic paint to colour my resin uh, just to stick with what's already down here. Okay, so I'll see you on the other side of this. So I am mixing my acrylics and I'm going to start from the dark corner and work my way back. So this is the ultramarine blue. So I only add my acrylics as I'm about to pour them to stop it going marshmallowy or uh, chemical reaction. So here we go, same principle as, as I've done before. Just to make sure I get all of this out. Maybe leave a tiny little bit in there if I want to use it to pull through. Stretching it out to where you want it to go. So I am now just applying my Carillion Blue Hue. On with my Green Blue. And this one is for Peebo. The two other colours were Darla and Rowney. This is the one that gives you that nice see-through colour. It's translucent. Which helps carry through some of that depth. Yeah, I'm just going to check. I think I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more. A little better. So I just have to be careful to make sure it's not going to come past here. Yeah, now you start to consider, ooh, have I applied enough resin? Because I didn't want to overcommit with this, so I went leaner. And it'll be interesting to see if it's going to be enough or if I do have to mix a little bit more resin. I just really hate wasting resin. to the final colour which is the blue green all right so this one is the blue green okay, and I might just add a little bit more with that okay so 
apply I'm just going to mix this in with my fingers and then come back round and look at getting rid of some of those bubbles and then I'll add the white uh, but I'm just going to make sure that the resin is touching everywhere okay. so I'm going to just de-glove and use my heat gun So all the time checking that my resin is going to the edges, checking for dust particles and checking for any big bubbles in there. Okay, now to come through with my white. Just want to make sure I get a nice line roll of a wave coming in here. drag some of these waves up So I'm going to go with that and see how that feels. Stand back and I'm going to use this time while it cools down just to check my edges and for dust. that cool down check the edges just one final time and then this one is a wrap Hi, so I have just brought you in for a close-up. I've just finished working on this piece, so super happy with it, super wet. So I'm going to start from the bottom right-hand corner, and I'm going to slowly work my way up. And I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see the depth and movement of the waves and them crashing that I've added. It's beautiful how you get where it goes underneath here, and you can almost feel that wave rolling, and that's going all the way up the top right bring it over to the center I'm hoping that wave doesn't fall off <laughs> it's more or less stopped dripping off now so I'm hoping that's the case but I love um, the white how it goes into this deep blue and those waves look like they're rolling over so really happy with that there's my little starfish and then I'm gonna go over to the bottom left 
and slowly take you in. Love that texture of the sand there. And I'm going to take you in all the way up. I love how I've created. Still managed to keep this the detail where the waves crashing over in the depth, but this is where the final waves rolling in. I love my little stories. Over, making my way up to the top left. So I am super happy with this. Cannot wait to see how it dries and I will take some photos for you. But I really have that sense of movement now and I'm so glad I added this final layer. Hope you have the most amazing evening. Remember, if you like my art, thumbs up, subscribe and share. Help me get my art out there. Also, if you are interested in purchasing this or any of my artwork, please make contact with me. I do custom made as well. And if you want any information about the products I've used, which is the most common question, please do check my description, which is the top right little triangle under my video, where it tells you everything that I have worked with. And if you click on any of those links there, what will happen is it will take you to Amazon. It won't cost you any more money, but if you do purchase something after pr uh, clicking on that link, a small percentage goes towards me to help me put towards my channel and keep making these videos and sharing art also with the videos I know they can be super um not the videos sorry I hope they're not super annoying <laughs> with the adverts they can be super annoying but if you do watch at least five ten seconds of those videos a small percentage of the money from the advert uh, goes towards myself and helping me uh, keep my artwork channel open and sharing my art with you so please make sure you do that and um, have the most wonderful evening and I look forward to seeing this when it's fully cured.